Christine Niles. Today's Monday, August 19th, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. An accused California priest is suing Roman Catholic faithful. Monsignor Craig Harrison of the Fresno Diocese filed suit against Stephen Brady Friday, president of the Watchdog Group, alleging Brady defamed him for reporting multiple allegations against Monsignor Harrison of homosexual predation, including one suicide reportedly linked to the priest. Harrison was suspended from ministry in May after multiple men came forward claiming he abused them as teens. Brady is fighting the lawsuit and fully expects to be vindicated in court. A Buffalo seminarian is blasting his diocese as a hotbed of sexual immorality and corruption. Stephen Parisi, Dean of Seminarians at Christ the King Seminary, abruptly resigned last week and called on laity to stop donating to the diocese. The only way for the church to survive is for good and honest lay people to reclaim their church. And the first step is to stop putting money in the collection basket. Parisi is calling on Bishop Richard Malone to step down. A Maltese bishop is slamming Italian Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini. Speaking to Maltese Catholic Radio Saturday, Bishop Mario Grec of Gozo said it pains him to watch Salvini holding rosary beads while calling for an end to mass Muslim migration. Salvini has taken flack from left-leaning bishops for calling for greater border security while exhorting Italians to remember and defend their Catholic heritage. During a rally in May, Salvini publicly entrusted Italy to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Mexico's bishops are blasting the expansion of, of abortion in their country. Last week, the Mexican Bishops' Conference issued a statement condemning the country's Supreme Court ruling to legalize abortion in cases of rape. The High Court decision greenlights the killing of the unborn, even if a criminal complaint has not been filed with police, and allows girls as young as 12 to get abortions without their parents' permission. A federal court has ruled President Trump may partially defund Planned Parenthood. On Friday, the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals turned down a final appeal by Planned Parenthood to block the Protect Life rule, which would yank 60 million taxpayer dollars from clinics that offer abortions. The rule was finalized in March, but Planned Parenthood sued Trump, pledging it would rather give up the 60 million than give up abortions. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about destroying the beauty. God bless you.